In today's vlog, I will be updating you on my injury, my habits, my goals for this week, my personal life, and my business. Hey guys, I'm Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. I'm super excited to update you guys in today's vlog. I have so much to share with you. Let's jump right into it. Hey guys, what's going on? So welcome to today's vlog. Good morning, first and foremost. So it's early in the morning and the house is asleep. So I'm trying to get, um, just want to jump on here and give you guys a quick update on this week's vlog. Um, so let's talk about my injury first. So if for you guys that have been following me, um, probably the last month or a little bit more, you guys know that I hurt myself at the end of June. Um, let's see, look at this calendar. So it's been, so it's been a month and a couple days since I hurt myself. So let me just explain the story for those of you have that have not been following me. Um, I was getting ready to um, head out and I was running around trying to get last minute stuff done around the house. I mopped the kitchen floor, um, put some packages in the um, laundry room and was like, oh my God, I forgot my phone on my desk. So the phone, my desk area in my apartment is on the other side of the kitchen. So completely forgetting that I actually mopped the floor, um, ran through the kitchen, slipped until like a half split. My leg shot out, went up, my left leg bent backwards. And for y'all that know, I'm not a skinny girl. This is like a ham bone right here. I fell back on my leg and my leg bent backwards and the like pulled. It was like really weird. So um, it really, really, really hurt. And I was actually these last few weeks contemplating on going to see the doctor to be like, hey, do an x-ray or, um, um, I don't know. I thought I maybe pulled something really bad, but I toughed it out. Um, I definitely toughed it out. There was a couple of times that I was like, you know what, maybe I should go see the doctor for real. So now that we are a month, um, out and I, I did try to work out the following week and um, for those of you who follow my workout Instagram page, you guys will see in the video the little bit of leg lift that I did because I kind of did like a modified sit down or standing workouts. That little bit of leg movement with my legs going up and down, that was it. Like it really was like, God, okay, Brandy, sit your tail down, right? <laughs> and relax. Your body's telling you to heal. You know, I'm older now, so it doesn't heal that quick. So I kind of like nurse my leg and all that kind of stuff. And I'm feeling better. And I feel good until I might step wrong, which is me moving too fast. So, but anyway, so this coming week, I plan on getting back into the swing of things. Um, getting back into working out and I'm probably going to do what's that lady's name on YouTube I forget but I know what I'm looking it up it's like it's on my TV it's called walk with me or walk at home what is her name like Jenny or something I can't remember but I'm going to record myself I'm going to start off with low modified um, workouts and build my way back up so I think a month is a good time and I'll make sure I'll take some leave um, to get back in the swing of things, get back um, with good eating, eating habits. It's crazy because, like, when you don't work out and you're and you're off track, your eating habits are off. So it's kind of like this last month I've been not so good. Well, I will say half the time. Let me rephrase that. Half the time I've been doing pretty good with my eating, and then there's moments. That's what I say. There's moments I'm like, oh, Brandy, uh-uh-uh. So, but, which is good. And my mom has been helping me stay on track. Like, girl, you know them knees and them, 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 them ankles. <laughs> 
gotta love my mom for real so i plan on an upcoming week Let's see if this tea is still hot hold on we're still hot so i plan on an upcoming week getting back into my routine I'm starting off with working out at least three days a week. I will record it and getting back on a tight schedule with my eating habit. So I have a lot going on. I know if you guys have been following me, I just launched my business on July 11th. So that has been going great. I have been going like crazy. Um getting new equipment head over to my craft video where i do the unboxing of my new equipment um it's just it's just a game changer for my business so it's just, it's excellent so i'm super excited about that so i have so much going on and I, this week i plan on i really want to better organize myself so this week i have pulled out if you guys don't know, purple is my favorite color, okay? So I have pulled out my handy dandy Clever Fox planner. So since I um, have not been on my normal workout routine, I haven't been using my planner as I should. I know, I know, I know, I know. One little thing happens and I let everything pretty much fly off the handle. So, um, I plan on using my Clever Fox Planner this week to get back on track. I'm going to go ahead and put in my weekly schedule. And, um, and I also have this to-do list for my business that I have written down on a piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and what we are today is the... 26 yes it's early in the morning I'm getting ready for my work shift here shortly um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my month out for my um, for the end of July and August so I'm gonna go ahead and start in a new month you know start fresh and this is like my weekly to-do list for my business like what I need to make sure I do. There's so much going on, y'all. I'm so excited. So I think I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what area I can put that in. Hmm. Mm, actually, yes, I can put this in this area right here. Yep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to transfer my business notes that I need to do um, into my planner into my weekly part of my planner see um, I use this section like when I was working out um, trying to get a basic routine so I can you know not be so stressed and kind of stay under control like this morning I had a lot on my mind this last few weeks a lot of you know a lot of happy stuff and good stuff you know and then a lot of just a little just a little not a lot you hear me right just a little bit of a little downtime when I'm like huh so I said I want to get back into doing a lot of things that I ha I was doing initially when I had my planner like I want to get back to reading I think I had in here before um, where is it at I think I had in here before where I would read 15 minutes a day right meditate for 15 minutes. I think I had it in here. Let me see. Yeah, so I had read for 15 minutes a day or like three days a week. And then I had on here um, meditate for 10 minutes a day. Yeah, yep. So I actually had it for four days a week. So I had four days a week, meditate um, for 10 minutes, um, four days a week, read um, for 15 minutes, just to kind of like, and I'm also, for those who don't really know me, I am an audiobook junkie. So I love audio audiobooks, paranormal romance novels, like, you know, sci-fi, vampires, werewolves. So 
I listen to audiobooks all the time. But what I did when I went out at this time, I was actually picking up a physical book and reading it or either picking up my Kindle because um, I love books, you know, um, picking up my Kindle and reading my Kindle, reading a book for 15 minutes. So I'm going to get back in the swing of that. I'm going to set this up for this coming week um, to get back into reading, meditating like this morning because there's so much on my mind and it's like I have so much going on. I said, you know what? Let me let me pray like my prayer zone area is like the shower for me i know other people have like war rooms where they go in there they pray they pray in the bed the car or whatever like my praying time is while i'm showering that may be too much information but that's where i like to pray the most um and um this morning i was taking a shower and i was praying you know i was manifesting and a lot of things were going through my head. So I also want to get back into, because I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh yeah, I pray every single day. I talk to God a lot, right? Maybe not every day, but I talk to him a lot. But I want to get back into um, making sure I say my prayers consistently, which I used to do like consistently, you know, but we often get, we veer off track and then we come back. So I want to get back into, you know, doing my, my daily prayers, you know, in the shower and whatnot and um and all that kind of stuff so i'm going to write out my weekly schedule my tasks that i want to do for my business i'm going to include that into my planner and just kind of like get organized like there's some um i need to organize my craft shelves in my laundry room i need to put together i bought this um this rolling bin and um i need to put that together as well to kind of better organize myself I have um, this is I'm in my kitchen area right here so this is my dining area right here the kitchen table and stuff and I pretty much use it for my craft stuff you know my daughter has her high chair so she'll sit at her high chair to eat or either I have a workbench a workbench for her in the living room like at activity bench and sometimes she'll sit at the activity bench and she'll eat or whatnot so I know that's breaking all the table rules that works for me may not work for everybody and that's completely fine so um, I want to get better organized and all that kind of stuff to kind of like keep things so I'm not like going crazy because with my full-time job you know I work a lot and then between Avon and between my business, Simply Creating and Designed, I do do a lot. And I do a lot of that off time. Like my, my, my like of course my full-time job, that's, you know, the number one priority goal. And um, as of now, and um, you know, one day I will blow up my business. But you know, as, as of right now, that is my priority. So um, I just wanna get organized. Because when my daughter is home, it's just me and her, and I like to keep it her time, her time. And when she goes to sleep, I'm off the, you know, I'm off the clock doing other things. And then like, you know, like now early, early in the morning, um, doing stuff like this. So I just want to come on here and jump on here and give you guys an update on this week. You know, that I'm going to get back to work now. I plan on getting organized, get back to reading, meditating, praying, and um, using my my planner getting back on track and scheduling between my personal and my business um, in my clever fox plan that I absolutely love you know to kind of get back on track to keep myself because sometimes I will say this I do I do miss I did miss using my um, using my planner a whole lot because um, I feel like when I use my planner I have better control of things and I keep a better eye on things so I, I did miss it so I'm excited to get back on track this week so I appreciate you guys each and every single week for um, rocking with me make sure you set those goals make sure you make you take time for self-love take time for yourself um, don't beat yourself up you know a lot of us are going through things personal things a lot of us you know um, are just starting out in businesses um, or either your career path or your personal life um, take time for yourself self-love I'm learning that myself you know I what I'm saying to you guys is what I'll be saying to myself too <laughs> 
So I'm learning that too. And also make time for yourself and make time for your family. So I, um, with that being said, so until next time, take care guys.